Carol is a, a love story. It's between two people who, uh, one who is uh, finding herself later on in life and one who's finding herself early in life. And uh, I think it's about truth and the, uh, the value of truth inside of ourselves and whether we follow that truth or whether we deny it from ourselves. And, uh, and it's, a, it's, a, it's a love story. The closest uh, recognition I had of Patricia Highsmith, and it wasn't because of any of her novels, it was because of the movie Strangers on a Train. So it wasn't until this project that I even realized that she had written that book and the, the Ripley books and, and what have you. So she's new to me. So it, it, was, uh, it was enjoyable reading the book because the, the quality of her writing stands out. It's just like any relationship. She's in love with someone else and we've got a child, the family's about to be destroyed. Just so happens in this relationship, it's a lesbian relationship, but I still have my child and I have my dreams of my family and I have my, my ideal little world that I want to keep alive. Um, Harge is a, also, I think he's very, he's a very selfish uh, person who, who, would, who would give up her happiness to keep his dream. Um, but um, but that, that, that's, what it's about, it happens around us all the time. It's 1952 and this just doesn't, it's not spoken about in society. He doesn't have anyone to go to to talk about how do I deal with this? I mean, how does he have these conversations with his father? What goes on? Um, so it, it just makes it far more interesting. It's a quiet, uh, secretive kind of commotion that that, that flows through everything and it's devastating. Kate uh, brings a special uh, attribute. I mean, she's already, um, she's already got this elegance that when you uh, fill these costumes here, um, she's stunning. Uh, she's stunning and she's very powerful and, and, and very, uh, very focused.